All right, guys, welcome back to another Dokkan video. Today, we're going to have a last minute drop of uh, the whole Cell Max thing. Now, yes, I know we're all talking about the next celebration and Broly and everything, but you know what? Calm down. We're going to go talking about this first. So this is Summertime Showdown Power of Destruction Campaign Part 2. So it starts 8 20 2024 at 8 p.m. EDT. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this right here. Uh, Summertime Showdown Power of Destruction Campaign Part 2 is on. A legendary summon will be available and a bunch of other various events and all sorts of stuff. So let's start with the beginning. Uh, we are going to be seeing the start of this at 8 o'clock my time. Now, the next thing you're also going to notice is Legendary Summon of new SSR Cell Max, who can be awakened in 10 LR. We already know. It's going to be the greatest, the greatest type of person you want on your team if you're running Super Boss. But he won't start until Wednesday at 2.30 a.m. my time. So that means I got to be up early? Hell no. My ass is tired. As you can tell right now, guys, I am MF and tired. And this will be running from 8.21 till 9.4. Okay, great. So, um, Cell Max, if that's who you guys want to go looking for, great. Uh, really up to you if you want to put your stones into that, especially with a bunch of events coming soon. Like, it's really hard to justify that. So, besides that, we have the Ultimate Weapon Pack, which will be up for sale starting Wednesday as well. So, for those of you who like to buy a bunch of stuff on the on the shop go ahead we also have a dragon stone sale which i assume for anybody who's really a whale will enjoy uh if you're like me you're gonna probably try to avoid it now uh you have other things in your life that you got to think about me personally i got a lot going on a lot of good things a lot of great things and uh dragon stones are not part of that so i'm gonna be trying to farm as many stones as i can to save up but will i pull for cell max i mean Maybe I might dive in for a few multis with you guys, but nothing too crazy. <clears throat> but those packs will come in handy if I decide to. So then next, we also have the Notable Showdown Extra Missions, which will also start on Wednesday. Um, okay, so some of these things will include a new Dragon Ball story, which is to recruit the SSR Devilman to our team. Uh, that will start Wednesday as well at 2.30 in the, in the morning, so Clash Test of Baba. Great. We also have the Infinite Dragon Ball History. Defeat the boss of each phase to obtain rewards. That's going to be great for, for uh, achievements and for stones. I love how my McAfee is over here saying, I get, I'm going to accept the rest, guys. I don't care. Um, let's see. Super Battle Road gets a new stage. Okay. It's going to be some fun. And Extreme Super Battle Road gets some new stages. That's not bad. Oh, we get new missions for Fighting Legend Frieza. Okay. That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of content we can put out here with you guys. Uh permanently available starting from monday 826 we'll have superhero justice missions of gamma one gamma two um we have new stage added to beast gohan all this stuff this is a, all these events will be literally available all day <laughs> so if you didn't do anything for the gammas or for gohan or piccolo and you're missing those like type of uh, awakening medals you can just go on here they'll be there available the whole time we also have uh, Into Dokkan Awaken Gohan Teen. If you missed out on the free uh, Gohan, now's your time to go back and get him. He's actually good. We'll also get a couple things that are still available. We still have um, our Power of Destruction login bonuses. So we still have that. We still have the Dokkan Festival Topo. And we still have some packs of Power of Destruction. So these are all things that are basically left over for us to do if you haven't done them. If you guys are missing out, go do them now. I suggest you do it. A lot of SSRs, a lot of free stones. Like, there's a massive amount of things you can do. Now, we're going to dive into talking about Cell Max. So, since this is the main thing of this whole story, we're all about freaking Cell Max. All right, let's take a look at him. So, at his UR, he is... Artificial life forms are super boss category key plus four, HP and attack and defense of 150%. His super attack is maximum smash, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage to enemies. He will get a crit bonus of 50%. When his special attack level 20, it'll be an additional 38% for his super attack. So he's just one giant nuking freaking crit monster, which is not bad. Oh, sorry. Oh, a little tired, but you know. I'm going to say I work my ass off all day in my regular day job. 
and then I do this to have fun with you guys. So, his ultra super attack is maximum disaster. Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. So, AoE greatly lowers attack and defense. So, he will not only do an additional 50% crit, he will also bring down their attack and defense. That's a freaking tank if I haven't heard of one. So his passive is called Ultimate Weapon Out of Control. Activates his entrance animation once only, and attack and defense of 100% guards all attacks and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super for three turns from the character's entry, turn where there is another artificial life forms or super bosses category ally team upon the character's entry. Uh, guys, how would I recommend running him? Super bosses, no freaking duh. He gets key plus five and attack and defense of 300%, plus an additional key plus one up to five and attack 20% up to 100% with each attack performed. Plus an additional key plus one up to five and defense 20% up to 100% with each attack received. So basically he is the Gohan of super bosses. That's beast Gohan of super bosses is what this guy is. <clears throat> Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super, no duh. Plus an additional defense of 250%, reduces damage received by 30% when all enemies are attacking in the same turn. Artificial life forms, super bosses, or movie bosses category. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Plus an additional attack of 250% and a chance of performing a critical hit of 30% when there are no superhero category allies attacking in the same turn. And then he launches an additional super attack within the same turn upon receiving a super attack. He's just one massive motherfucker. Sorry, part of my language, guys, but he's just... God, he's a tank. And he does a lot of crit. Now, his active skill is called Explosive Scream. And uh, the conditions for it is... It can be activated when all allies attacking the same term are artificial life forms or super bosses category starting from the fourth turn of the st from the start of battle or when all allies attacking the same term are extreme class starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle once only. This will massively raise attack temporarily, cause ultimate damage to enemy. Defense of 99... 999% direct, directs enemy attacks towards the character for one turn. So he pulls a Gohan and just basically says, come hit me, and he negates everything. That's looking great. Um, let's take a look at his links. Android Assault, Infighter, Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, Big Bad Bosses. What a freaking great thing. Hmm. My God, I'm yawning. I'm so tired. Okay, so he shares a lot of links with uh, basically Androids. <laughs> That's their best bet. Um, I think Cell's worth summoning for if you're a real diehard fan of them. I think if you rather wait for the next like worldwide download and everything else, your best bet's to wait on that. But if you really have to have Cell on your team and you really want them or you're just a whale and you have lots of stones, I don't know how you guys could have stones right now because I am... I got 50 and that's it. Um, best of luck to you if you decide you want to summon for them. Uh, let's take a look at what that banner used to look like. Uh, banners. Um, okay, hold up. Uh, let's see. How would we do this? Uh, oh, let's switch this to Japan. Okay, great. Let's take a look at all the old banners so we can find Cell Max and get an idea of who would be on here. Oh, God. It's been a while since I've seen Cell Max. There it is. Okay. So, based off of this banner, there's Cell Max, there's Frieza. Actually, really good. Uh, there's Goku, there's Vader, there's Goku Black, Goku Black, Rose. This banner's got a lot of crap on it, a lot of fodder. The only thing I would say that's completely worth it is like if you don't have proof of dominance, Golden Frieza, he's actually a really good, good category lead. Like if you don't have anyone for that. Like look, look at look over here. Let's go to as you are. All right. Super bosses are genius warrior category of three uh, HP attack and defense of 130%. He's actually a really good. Like if you if you don't have him on your team and you have him, just go ahead and get him in there. He's great. Um, with, if this banner is anything like this one, uh, we are going to be screwed. I would not recommend summoning on these banners because they steal your stones. Uh, but yeah, past that, guys, this is just my little news update. What my thoughts are. Uh, what are we thinking about Cell Max? If you guys are going to summon for him, will you summon for him? Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, I'm curious to know if you guys actually want to dive into this. Again, this is just my opinion on it. I think that he is a great character. I just don't know if I'm going to go ham. I like Cell Max. I'm not sold on Cell Max. I like him. <laughs> but you know what? Again, like I said, he's not bad. 
He's actually a great character. Uh, I hope to hear back from you guys. Let me know down below. Share this video if you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you want to support the channel. And remember, you guys make this channel what it is today. I'm just lucky enough to share these video game news, updates, and video games with y'all. Have a great evening, and take care.